Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this video, we will talk about and how to calculate square root transformation using Excel. Square root transformation is one of the appropriate remedial measures in the situation where the variances are heterogeneous. With this technique, the original data is transformed into homogenized variance. Take note that square root transformation is one of the remedial measures which is important tool for the proper statistical analysis of agricultural data, including the arc sign transformation and logarithmic transformation. Square transformation is appropriate for data consisting of small whole numbers, example, data obtained in counting rare events such as a number of infested plants in a plot, insect caught in traps and weeds per plot. Square root transformation is also appropriate for percentage data where the range is between 0 to 30% or 70 to 100%. If most of the values are small, especially when zeros are present, use the formula square root x plus 0.5 instead of square root of x. To have a clear picture, let's have the example on the Excel. For this example, we will be using a five treatments to replication. Take note that the treatment one is replicated three times, treatment two is replicated three times, treatment three is replicated three times, and treatment four is replicated three times, and treatment five is replicated three times. Okay, for, for the data, we will be using a percentage survival. Take note that the percentage survival have a data of 0, 3, 4, 5, 10, 22, 23, 14, 5, 3, 7, 6, 12, 23, and 11. And this data, it is a percentage survival, which means if we can observe that this data follows the rule of square root transformation, which 0 to 30%. It means when the values or data set when the percentage data following 0 to 30 percent or your data sets is following 0 to 30 percent it means the data needs to undergo square root transformation also or aside from that when your data set or your data obtained from the field is ranging from 70 to 100 percent it means your data needs to be transformed using square root transformation however if you have a data that uh, for 30 or 42 70%, it means the data does not require to undergo a square root transformation. However, if your data value or your data sets or data ranging from 0 to 100, it means square root transformation is not applicable for this analysis. But instead, you should use the arc sign transformation. Okay, in order to obtain the transform data using square transformation, we will be using this formula. Take note that you should, okay, click this one, then equals square root, and that is the formula for the square root. Then click, then close open parenthesis, Input the number or the value of your data set, click this one, then plus 0.5 because the formula of the, the square transformation is square root, close open parenthesis, value plus 0.5. And that's how we will able to get the transformed data in order to homogenize these data sets. Okay, click and that's it. For the value of zero it means the value of zero for the square transformation is point zero point seven zero one one or point seventy one in order to obtain this uh, transform data you need we need to drag this one and we will have the transform data of this parameter take note that that the original data should not be undergo 
or, or will be subjected to the analysis of variance. Instead, you should use the transform data at use the transform data and this data will be subjected to analysis of variance instead using the original data. I hope this video will help you a lot on how to, on how to calculate square root transformation using Excel. Okay, thank you so much.